In the beginning, the good God created good things, and that includes each of us. But isn't it interesting how one man can represent the best and worst of creation, how creation's very good turned to deeply troubled, how the very ground where the image bearer was created from is the very ground cursed because of him. He passively stood as his bride was deceived. Tempted by the one who deceives, on the eve of our fall, she looked at the tree and his fruit was pleasing to her. They didn't want to be like God. They wanted to be him. So they ate. As the forbidden fruit entered their mouths, they chewed the lie and digested sin. Hidden was their innocence as they tried to save themselves. What eventually led to them being discharged from the garden first resulted in their separation from a holy God. They hid their shame. And he blamed the bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh, his rib. At the prime of his life, he traded God's glory for man's depravity. And we thought it was gravity pulling us down with your crabs in the barrel. And from the moment of consumption, our lives have been in peril, trying to dress ourselves and design the fig leaves. We try to play savior when we really need one hour. Superhero-like efforts or idolatry. We hip-hop array, we celebrate as we constantly turn our backs on the one who clothes it. A treacherous act of betrayal. Naughty by nature, we came DOA, but God was proactive. He made a way for humanity to be loose from being captive to sin so that we can be active with him. Through one man, sin entered the world. But through the gift of another, our wrongs have been made right. The way in which the quarterback has overthrown sin so that death is defeated, offering salvation, we must with the hands. If you receive it, I pray that you receive it. So the Prince of Peace came down so that we could have peace in the midst of our trouble. He clothed himself in flesh. He lived the life we should have lived and died the death we should have died in our place. But three days later, rose from the grave, offering salvation for those who repent and place their faith in him. He wants us to have peace in the midst of our trouble. He is peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Amen? Let us pray.